My name is Gábor Kardos, and with my partner, Sándor Haraszti, we will present the semester homework of Traffic Modeling Simulation Control Course. The task was to examine vehicle pollutant emission using small traffic simulation software and its traffic control interface. Sumo is an open source road traffic simulation tool. It can handle large road networks with high traffic load. Networks can be generated by hand with the NetEdit software or exported from OpenStreetMap to simulate the traffic on real roads. The traffic simulation can contain multiple types of vehicles with customizable properties like maximal velocity or acceleration. We can get numerous data simulated by Sumo through the traffic control interface, for example, emission or fuel consumption. This interface also allows us to manipulate the simulation online, like changing traffic lights. We used a real highway segment for the simulation from the highway M5 Hungary. This network was exported from OpenStreetMap as an OSM extension file, and we generated the .NET XML file by a terminal command. We wanted to use only the highway road segments for the simulation, so with the NetEdit program of Sumo, we deleted the unnecessary road segments, enters and exits. We defined two types of vehicles to be simulated, passenger cars and trucks. We assumed that it can make the simulation more realistic if the cars sometimes have to pass the slower trucks or have to slow down. Passenger cars are shorter and faster than the trucks. Furthermore, cars can accelerate and decelerate faster too. To create the traffic from hundreds of vehicles, we defined flows of the two types of the vehicles individually for the two opposite directions of the highway. With this method, we can define a high amount of traffic without defining more thousands of vehicles one by one. There are four times more passenger cars than trucks during the, during the simulation. The last thing to do to have a simulation is to configure the simulation itself. The sumo.cfg extension file contains the start and end time steps, in this case 0 and 2000, and the reference to the network and the route or traffic definition uh, XML files. This file can be opened in the Sumo GUI and we can run the simulation. In the next slides, Shandor will introduce the traffic control interface and the simulations on the emission. The Trusty interface is an abbreviation for traffic controlling interface which enables access to Sumo simulation. The user can gather information or give specific control inputs for Sumo Byte. The communication is happening between the trusted client and the trusted server, which is, in this case, the Sumo. The trusted client is evaluated by a Python framework, which has a template to control the Sumo simulation with the initialization and the simulation part. In this framework, data gathering is also needed to be executed by lists containing time, vehicle number, velocity, acceleration, carbon monoxide emission, carbon dioxide emission, hydrocarbon emission, and nitrogen oxide emission. The figures are created after the simulation part with the help of Matplotlib. One of the main and trivial conclusions is that with the increase of vehicle number, the emission also grows proportionally. This is true for all emissions, however, this figure only contains carbon monoxide emission. This plot shows the proportions between the four emissions. It is clear that the carbon dioxide is the highest emission from all, and it can be seen also that the second one is the carbon monoxide, but the hydrocarbon and the nitrogen oxides are cannot be determined, so individual plots are needed. This plot shows the proportions except carbon dioxide emission, which is trivial based on the previous slide. 
the plots. Upper left hydrocarbons and nitrogen oxides of the function of time. Bottom left carbon monoxide and nitrogen oxides of the function of time. And right carbon monoxide and hydrocarbons of the function of time. It is clear that the smallest amount is hydrocarbons and in increasing order nitrogen oxides, carbon monoxide and carbon dioxide. Standalone vehicle emission shows exactly the same proportions, only the local parameters such as acceleration and velocity is changing its values. These values are also interesting to see how to affect the emissions, which is needed to be further investigated. Firstly, the emissions are investigated of the function of average acceleration, again, for all vehicles. It can be seen that all emissions following a U-function in positive direction, which is expected based on measurements and empirical results from other areas. Important to mention the uncertainty of the measurements. With the increase of the acceleration and emission, the errors in the curve can be observed. Secondly, the emissions are investigated of the function of average velocity. The U-curve also can be seen with the errors which are expected. Again, standalone vehicle emission follows exactly the same U-curve as in average values. Here, the standalone emissions can be seen of the function of velocity. Summarizing the results, a SUMO simulation model is created with a real-life example M5 freeway simulation with traffic. A Python trusty simulation interface is created and the results showed that the simulation is reflecting and matching real-life expectations too. Thank you for your attention.